all the gear, no idea. All for like most great ideas. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> great ideas, no gear. My name is Dan Mace and I'm a film director. Endless problems. I specialize in directing TV commercials like You get the picture. Over the next few days, I'm gonna create an ad. An ad with the exact same idea, the same crew, lighting, props, production team, everything. But one with a hundred dollar camera. I actually think it was cheaper than a hundred dollars. This thing's ridiculous. It's made to look like a cannon. Same font. And the other with a one million dollar camera. This, this thing is, is really heavy. And uh, I'm gonna play back both ads. One shot on this. How do I play that back? Yo. 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 And the other shot on this very expensive rig. <sighs> And then you be the judge to see if you can even tell which one was shot on which one. If you get it right, there'll be a, there'll be a prize. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there will be a prize, there will be a prize. This will be the prize. I started to ideate with a few ice cream sticks and other bits and bobs from around my factory because attainability here is the most important. What would be the least expensive non-brand addy ad item or service I could make this spot about with no extra cast members and the least amount of pre-production as I only had a few days to get this done. I came up with something pretty creative, I think, but super complex. Very simply, I first secured the best people from big, big, expensive camera toy manufacturers and operators called Big Bird, a huge favor from my friends at Panavision. Quick interjection here for full transparency and all the tech gurus out there. This camera body itself isn't $1 million. Well, you can't actually purchase it, but other tech specialists have rated it somewhere around the $250,000 mark, just as the body alone. Along with a set of Pfizer lenses, which are highly rare, come to about $150,000. And then with all the gear to make the camera work and correctly stabilize, come to well over $700,000. He has an actual printout of the gear list from Panavision, so if you wanna go do your background checking, uh, go ahead. Then the $100 camera camera isn't actually $100. Without shipping, it's only around $40. But because of a few modifications we had to do to get it production worthy, we'll settle at 100 US dollars. I think it's fair. Back to the crew. Lighting team, a DOP, which is a fancy way of saying cameraman, <laughs> pixel pulse image specialists, art department. Everyone always messages me saying they keep to make films with me. And this is how it ends up every single time and my bank card but now to take this idea and get it written in order to create the greatest non-ad ad the world has ever seen I, it's so sick it just need, it needs like uh, three Whoa, wait, wait. This isn't a car ad. That's not even my car. It's Jared who shot the behind the scenes girlfriend's car. Where was I? Oh shit, we're in my mind. Okay, uh, so I guess we can take this thing for a spin anywhere then. I'm thinking somewhere majestic. The Amazon perhaps. Or Polo opposite like Tokyo drifting around the pyramids of Giza. Or no, epic like, like summiting Mount Kenya. A snowfall. Who am I kidding? That's better, yeah. <laughs> a car wearing a car as a hat. And then, bang! Impact. A slow motion walk while I talk about the brew merch looking fly here. An invisible cut out from black to reveal the notion that no matter how big or small the idea, forget the gear, it's your action that creates it all. 
and then boom, powerful quote. Spoiler alert, that non-ad ad you just watched was all shot on this camera called Camera. Wait, 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 before you go on eBay or Amazon, that's a lie. It's blatant, horrible, terrible lie. Uh, I can't endorse a product like this. That's supposed to be the base plate. Wait, how do I roll on this thing, really? It also only shoots 720p at 4x3, and the quality is atrocious. But don't lose faith in this toy made for very, very small children, because I put my ego aside and begged my fellow comrades and recreated that entire non-ad ad. And even after the pain and the effort of really, really trying my utmost best to uh, just draw quality out of this toy, I'm still a firm believer that idea comes before gear. And hey, who knows, if you still think that the quality looks the same, I would suggest going and visiting your local optometrist. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, embarrassingly press play. Righto, Gabs is the only person I was brave enough to show that to opinion, honest opinion. Brilliant, baby, unbelievable. Don't just say that. Baby, it was so, so great. One of your films that I was most excited to see come to life and I loved seeing the two different cameras. Did you get the, the concept? <laughs> yes, it's like you in everyday life, driving and, or going in search and search of a great idea until you hit a wall and realized that it was right in front of you all along. You got that from the piece? <laughs> it's you, of course. You didn't read my script? You didn't send it to me this time. I didn't, I really didn't think that that would translate. Whew. Gabs' opinion matters most. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I went to the extreme here by using the shittiest shit camera in the world. <laughs> I do get that that's ex completely extreme and the one you, you know, there's, there's no comparison between the two cameras, but it's not about that. It's about starting this conversation about gear versus idea. I think we live in a world where we all want the best tech and we're forgetting about the ideas. How do you feel about that? Yeah. <laughs> Gab's is still on like an iPhone 1. <laughs> Fuck, why did I actually ask your opinion? Baby! As I was saying, discussion. So let's start a conversation in the comment section below. Tomorrow I'm gonna upload a video with, because there's just so much footage and so many technicalities that went into making this video. And I'd really like to answer those questions and just show a lot more of behind the scenes. But I just wanted to cap this one, keep it short, you know? To the point. Straight to the point. <laughs> and on that note, if it's your first time here, please subscribe. If it's your second or third time and you still haven't subscribed, you know, it's time to subscribe and put on your notifications bell and then <clears throat> smack that like button. Other than that, don't forget, you're awesome, Brew, and I'll see you tomorrow. I bet we are all sinners, sinners. And yet we are all winners in our dreams until the winners come. We are at last all just beginners, it is seen.